So the first bit's basically centered around an E power chord, so seventh fret of the A string, and then the ninth fret of the D and the G strings. So basically you're gonna start with a power chord, then you're gonna move that ninth fret down to an eighth fret on the G string. Then you're gonna play with an 11th fret, so using your pinky on the 11th fret of the G string. And then back to the power chord. And then between every chord you're gonna play the bass note an extra time, so it should sound something like this. And you can play that with a pick, just trying to target those three strings, the A, D and G. But you could also try with a pick and the fingers. And then we're going to go to a B bar chord, so on the 7th fret of the E string, for a bar, and then back again. Then we go down to a, just an open E. A B bar chord, so 2nd fret of the A string, it's just like an A major shape, moved up 2 frets. suspended shape, so B suspended chord. So it's got a C sharp in it, so it'll be a sus2. So basically instead of just having all three um, of these fingers in the fourth fret, you're just gonna have the B string as the second fret. And then back to the full B bar chord. So it's two strums on B, B sus2, drums of that, so 4th fret A minor shape, and then we're going to play the 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 1st, open A, so it's a C sharp, C, B, A sharp, A minor, um, then you're basically just going to go through that verse again, so it should sound like this. The, that pattern there with 4, 3, 2, 1, you could just try 3, 2, 0, so C, B, A minor, so that sounds something like this. Basically, if you were to play a B bar chord, and then if we were to drop that B, um, which is on the um, G string at the fourth fret, if we were to drop that down um, two frets, it would give you a B seventh, so B dominant seventh chord. And then we're just going to raise the, the root note just one fret, which is a really cool kind of passing chord between. Um, the B, there's your C diminished, and then a C sharp minor, and then an A minor. So I'll just play through that um, section again. So it's A, F sharp, B, C diminished seventh, C sharp minor. So I'll just play through all of that, um, yeah, slowly.
that F sharp, we're actually just going to go to kind of the outro section which starts on an E. And then we go to a, a C augmented kind of chord, so it would be the 3rd fret on the A string, uh, it would be the 6th fret on the D string, 5th fret on the G string, 4th fret on the B string, so it's like a C, G sharp, um, sharp majors but now we've kind of changed with that minor sound B and now we've got basically C sharp minor for the next two bars um, but if you can manage it try dropping this bass note down which is what the what they do on the piano in the track uh, Basically, as if you had a C sharp minor, but you're going to change the bass note to an A. You could also play an F sharp minor. I think that's what they play in the original track. But I just kind of like the um, the bass movement there by going C sharp minor. Then it's like C sharp minor over a C. C sharp minor over a B. C sharp minor over a B flat. 